Hi everybody, I'm Rob Tillette with the Aquaponics Force. We are here at a new building just completed in Idaho at a private residence. And we wanted to give you a quick tour of uh, what we've done here. Flourish Fish Farm 600. This is a turnkey aquaculture system that we have designed. Um, and you can get this aquaculture system for yourself, come from an instruction manual, everything you need to put it together. Uh, the basics of it are two 300 gallon tanks. Um, we have a full aeration system, water distribution, water drain. Uh, there are heaters in each of these tanks to maintain our uh, temperature for fish. This system specifically, I think they're going to be doing koi, um, so a very temperature tolerant fish, but we still like to have those heaters to maintain exactly what we want. If we continue on down this way, uh, we have our Endurance 4000 automated bee filtration system. This is doing all of the mechanical and biological filtration for our farm. Um, super easy to work on. Right here, our sludge drain pivots right out. Open the valve, dump your sludge into the bucket. Five or ten gallons a day when you're really rocking and rolling with the system is all it takes. Uh, the sludge from this filter then comes into our mineralization system. Uh, so this is a tank where we are uh, bubbling all of our sludge or fish waste. We're breaking it down further using beneficial bacteria and then eventually we're settling out the solids, skimming off our nutrient-rich water on top, and that's actually going to our plant system as a great nutrient boost for our plants. This is a four foot wide, 20 foot long setup. We have two of them. As you can see, it's about 30 inches high. Really nice for working on your plants. There's no bending over. Um, so it makes life on the farm very easy for you. Now, because we're indoors, again, we are using grow lighting systems. This one right here is our ARC 600 uh, full spectrum LED light. There's 600 watt lights, full spectrum, nice white light, mimics sunlight, also really easy to work around. These lights are actually mounted on a light rail robotic moving system. So we don't have it turned on right now, but these lights actually track back and forth across our grow beds. Uh, because these lights are so powerful that if they were centered on one spot, it would just overwhelm the plant. Uh, and they wouldn't be able to take up the amount of light that's being delivered to it. So, by having the light on a track system, we can expand our coverage area, which allows us to use fewer lights and less electricity overall. These are our Aqua Abundance Media Beds. Again, um, more grow lighting. Uh, these are a different kind of light from Thrive Agritech. These are their Apex 300 watt lights. We have them stationary, and two of them for uh, nice even coverage. Um, and we have this rack above for trellising. So this is where you're going to grow your tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, dwarf fruit trees, you know, play around in it. You can grow just about anything in the media bed. And this rack above allows you to trellis, support those plants. Everything here is growing in these um, clay pebbles. Um, and uh, we have the ability here to vary the height of the water in these beds and control this bed individually. So these are a fruit tree system that's automatically fed with water from our aquaponic farm. So we have a design to build a pressurized drip irrigation system that is fed with water from our aquaponic system so our fish can supply water directly to the trees. But what you'll notice is that these are not dwarf fruit trees. These are full-size fruit trees. Our ceiling height is about 20 feet in here. So we've installed a lighting system way up high. Um, and so to do that, we use our ARC 600 LEDs again. Again, it's our most powerful light that we use. Um, and so we can have these lights very way up high, but still get um, canopy penetration um, down low, even at surface level here. So right here, we're growing avocado trees. Uh, we have some oranges. We have all sorts of different kinds of citrus. I mean, you name it, there's great fruit, all sorts of great stuff. These trees, as is, they're already about uh, 10 to 15 feet high, and the capacity is there for another 5 to 10 feet of growth. Um, the lights are on a pulley system, so the entire lighting system can be raised and lowered to maintain optimal lighting conditions for all of our plants.
All right, everybody. So that was the Torrens Pipe Park here in Northern Idaho. Uh, thanks for coming along with us. Let us know if you have any questions, and we'll see you on the next one.